Let's get down to the real here, folks. Let's cut to the bone when it comes down to the atheist theist debate. Cut past all the crap. Cut past the meat of the debate and get to the reality. If you believe in a God and you're not trying to impose your God on society by force, you're not trying to take control of the government or trying to impose your religious views as science, then does it really matter? You know, if we're talking about people who simply have a belief and they keep it to themselves, which can happen, then do we really care? Do we as atheists give a monkeys? You know, if we're all in it for the right reasons, if we're all trying to do the right things and not actually trying to mess up each other's lives with ridiculous fanaticism, does it really matter at all? Because, you know, my view is, it's not a war on God, it's uh, a, well, I don't want to use the term war, I would say it is a progression towards rationality. And if your rationality contains a God, well, preferably a deistic God, but in any case, you should try and be more informed, more rational about every aspect of your life. Not merely the God versus non-God debate. That has run its course in most places in the developed world other than where fanatics, where fundamentalist Christians mostly, have dug in their heels. And now, of course, you know, not just fundamentalist Christians, but also certain fundamentalist fanatics within Islam. So, yeah, the main targets are extremists. You know, whether they're peaceful extremists or not so peaceful extremists. Those trying to get their grubby little hands all over your government and your education and trying to fuck up your kids up here by trying to make the idea of God did it a science. Yeah. So, basically my point is you want to believe in God, eh, whatever. You don't want to believe in God, yeah, sure, whatever. But focus on the right issues. You know, this kind of childish war from some of my fellow atheists where they're constantly against religion, even if that religion does not wish to impose itself upon others. Even if it's not ripping people off. It's merely plodding over with mild, tiny donations. And it's not trying to impose its will on society. That's fine. But as soon as it crosses the line, it's fair game to be honest. You know, like my thing with spiritualism and Christian spiritualism, most of the time it doesn't cross the line, so I don't focus on it too much, but the mediums, and the psychics, and the healers who are broadly associated with it do cross the line on occasion and therefore they're fair game. The same with New Age, most New Agers are just sad people who love crystals and all that kind of jazz and, you know, healing and other stuff, Reiki and all that jazz. And there are a few, these gurus, these prophets and all this kind of stuff, someone who's a reincarnation of, I don't know, Joseph Stalin or, I don't know, Mahatma Gandhi or some shit. And those people who are then milking money off sad fucktards, they deserve to be pwned. They deserve to be exposed. People calling their freaky metaphysical voodoo science when they cannot confirm the science, they merely nick the terminology of science. Ah yes, a quantum resonance in the alignment flow of the polarity fluxa or whatever bullshit they come up with next. It's fair game because they're fucking people with stupid terminology mixed in with scientific terminology and messed up ideas for profit. It's a business, folks. It's a business. What more need I say? When that happens, whether it's in that context or whether it's a, I don't know, a televangelist milking money off the tired, sad, desperate and depressed and idiotic and ignorant and elderly, 
When that happens, I get pissed. When I see someone basically attacking the vulnerable elements in society and making themselves rich in the process, very much like Peter Popoff does, or for that matter, Benny Hinn, then I get annoyed, as do many of my fellow skeptics. So, it's not a war on God, you know, there's no thing to actually wage war on. It's a war on fanaticism, if you wish. It's a conflict for the sake of sanity. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there?